Today, I'm going to be going over three unexpected ways to advance your structural engineering career. Hey, I'm Matt Picardle, and I'm a structural engineering project manager in the Southern California area. These three things that I'll be going over are based on my experiences as a young professional, mostly in a small to medium sized structural engineering design firm working in the private industry. So if your situation is different, just take it with a grain of salt. The first way is to find a mentor or someone who can champion for you in your office. To me, that mentor or that someone that supports you in the office is someone that you could talk to about your career goals and they can personally vouch for you. They know how you work, they know what your work ethic is, and they see where you wanna go in your career path and they want to help you get there. This is typically someone that's above you. It might be your, your manager or a senior engineer or maybe even uh, a principal level person. So why is this important? It's important because your firm is always looking for those new leaders, those new A player type of employees that, you know, that are promotable and that are like the next wave of leadership for your firm. So for you, finding that someone who can help champion you and support you in that path can really help you get to that career advancement that you're looking for. That mentor will be the one to stand up for you during meetings or recommend you for new projects that align with your career goals. So how do you go about getting a mentor or someone in your company to vouch for you, to champion for you? Well, first it starts with you. You have to do good work, you have to communicate clearly, and you have to be good at what you do. And a lot of young engineers do this, they're good at their job. But that's pretty much all that they do and they can run into a dead end, they might be seen as someone that just does design work and leadership may not even know that you're interested in, in moving up into a leadership position or advancing your career. So if you're already good at what you do, you have to let your leadership know that you are interested in advancing your career and getting involved and helping your firm out. The next thing that you can do to accelerate this is Probably during your annual review, letting them know what your career goals are, what career paths that you want to get on and what type of projects that you want. It's your responsibility to let them know what direction you want to go and what direction you want to take your career path in. Or a less informal way is to just maybe just have an informal uh, review with one of your project managers or your leadership or just ask them out for lunch and just tell them that you want to talk to them about your career path. Hopefully you've demonstrated that the work that you do is is valuable and that you are someone that they can back and help you get to where you want to go. And take initiative. Don't just tell them that, let's say you want to be a project manager and let them figure out the game plan. You can suggest things and bring up, take the initiative to bring up uh, plans yourself. Maybe you could uh, help manage or even become the manager for a very small TI project that's coming up. So trying to get some training in and just see what it's like versus you just putting all the burden on them. So it really is a two way street. You're putting in the effort, you're showing them that, hey, this is where I wanna go. These are my ideas that I think might help get you there. And they might agree or disagree, but in the end they should be recommending paths for you and actions for you to take. And it's important to establish these relationships just because if, if you don't, take the initiative, you could just be doing, if you're more of the technical person, you could just be doing all the technical stuff for, for years because leadership didn't know you wanted to advance to project management, for example. And don't use the excuse that management or upper leadership should know what you want. It's up to you as a young engineer to communicate with them what you want. That way there's no misinterpretation and everyone's on the same page. That way you don't waste years of your, your career hoping for a promotion when leadership doesn't even know that you wanna get into that specific career path. The second unusual way to advance your career is writing a structural engineering career blog or maybe even a YouTube channel. With all the social media, with LinkedIn, with, with everything that's online, you're building a reputation for yourself uh, even if you don't know it. This is something that I wish I would have done a lot earlier in my career pretty much documenting what I was learning and sharing, whether through it was a YouTube channel like this or even through creating my own blog or contributing to someone else's blog. So why is this important? Well, like the first thing I said, it builds your reputation, especially 
with social media, say for LinkedIn. It only not only builds your reputation with your firm, but for the entire structural engineering community. Your firm will know that you're dedicated to structural engineering and it's it's more than just a job for you, it's something that you're passionate about. And you're teaching others, other structural engineers. So you kind of become maybe not an expert yet, but someone that helps the structural engineering community out. And not only that, I mean, recruiters are looking at your blog or your channel. Other structural engineering professionals are looking at your blog and channel. So you're already showcasing your knowledge or your experiences to them even if you're not an expert because as you're a young professional there's a lot you don't know and someone is going through what you're going through right now whether it's sharing what you're learning on a new project a new software that you found out about that could help and save you time or you're going out to a site visit that you're finally seeing your first project go up and all those things are, are something that every structural engineer can relate to and by sharing this knowledge communicating this knowledge it's gonna improve your communication skills whether it's through writing blogging or even going through on, on video such as YouTube. It's improving your communication skills, it's encouraging you to do more research if you're writing about a technical topic, and it even improves your teaching ability which is uh, important to every firm if you're gonna get into training others and mentoring younger engineers as you get older in your career. If anything, it keeps a document of all your lessons learned and it even shows you progress of how you're you're going in your career and like what you didn't know from the very beginning to all the stuff that you do know. I personally think the structural engineering industry is behind on knowledge sharing. So I highly encourage you to start something like this where people can see the lessons that you're learning because even though I might not be going through it, you can bet someone that's a student or someone that just came into the industry can benefit from that. And we can all learn as a structural engineering profession the issues that we're going through and the lessons that we're all learning. And I'm glad that more and more of you are starting to do this. For example, my colleague Daniel from UCSD, he started working in the structural engineering industry and wanted to create this platform where structural engineers can share their knowledge, share their cool projects, and share the lessons that they're learning throughout their career. His platform is called structuralstallworks.com. I'll put it in the link descriptions below, make sure to go check it out. The third thing that you can do to advance your structural engineering career is to join professional organizations. First off, by joining a professional organization, I don't just mean just paying for the membership and going to a meeting or two. I mean, getting involved on the board, taking a, po a position or joining a committee in the professional organization that you're in. So you're actually contributing, you're actually organizing events, contributing to meetings, leading meetings, or doing research for your committee. You have to give something to these professions before they actually benefit you. So how does joining a professional organization actually benefit you in your career? First off, by getting involved in and leading organizations and contributing to the profession as a whole, your company sees that. You basically become an ambassador for your firm that whatever committee that you're on that you're helping on, you're helping promote your firm and your firm's values. For example, let's say you're very passionate about wood design and you get involved in the wood committee and you're active in the meetings and you're contributing and maybe even eventually leading the meetings and even having speaking events about wood design, you're becoming an asset to your firm by doing that because you're kind of now the industry expert or one of the experts in that field. Because you're out there, you're out in the public, you're out in the structural engineering industry. And with LinkedIn nowadays, a lot of people can even just see your work when that also includes potential clients. So by you getting involved in the structural engineering profession in your organization, your firm and other firms and people in the structural engineering industry will see that and your expertise and the type of volunteer work that you do. And it also helps your career because you get to network with a lot of other structural engineers. A lot of these engineers get to know you and they get to know your work ethic and your work and what you're passionate about, what you're good at. So if for some reason down the road you ever wanted to switch companies, it's a lot easier to do that if you already have that initial contact with somebody. So that's why that network is so important for your career. I mean, I've talked to some engineers where they survived the recession because of their networks. During the last uh, recession, maybe the their firm went out of business and no one was hiring, so the only way to get a job was reaching out to their networks and actually finding that person that could vouch for them. Compare that to not having a network. It's so much harder to get a job because no one knows you, no one knows who you are. They have to base everything off the resume. And it's a bigger risk for the firm to hire you because a lot of people don't know how you work. Versus being involved in a professional organization 
where a lot of the engineers already know how you work, what your personality type is, and if you'd be a good fit for their firm if you ever decided to move to a new city. So let me tell you, when firms have new openings, they ask their employees if they know anybody. So a recommendation from knowing someone in person is a lot more powerful than just finding a resume from a resume stack. So those are my three unexpected ways to advance your structural engineering career. Hope you liked the video and I will see you next time.